Hi and welcome back to the Tools Demos here on Hillbilly Storytime. My name is Adam Compton. Today we're going to be talking about a small tool called CrackMap Exec. It's an amazing little tool to help you do so many different things with uh, Windows and Web and all kind of stuff on uh, internal engagements. Um, so we're going to step through some of it here. Like I said, this is a very large tool. It has so many different fu functions, modules, capabilities that there's no way I can cover all of it in this video. Uh, it does have a, an, an amazing wiki associated with it out on its GitHub page. Uh, from there, it'll talk you through how to install it, how to get started with it, all the necessities of it. So amazing read. Please go out and read about it, uh, read up on it, and try to use it out. Uh, right here, we're going to just try a few couple uh, uses of it that I find the most useful on engagements myself to get me started. And uh, first of all, let's go ahead and clone the repo. In this case, we're doing the dash dash recursive because it has many nested um, repos within it. So let's go ahead and let this finish. All right, now that that has finished uh, cloning, Let's go ahead and jump into the directory here. Uh, one of the things off the wiki it tells you to do is it also wants you to install a few other libraries or a few other packages here. I've already got those installed, so no worries there. Also from the wiki it tells you that it can be installed on Kali, Debian, Ubuntu, Arch, and Mac OS X. May be able to be installed on others as well, but those are the ones it gives documentation on. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do here is do the Python setup.py install and once that completes then it will be fully installed. Alright. So now if we do crack map exec, you can see there it runs, or you can do CME for short, and it does the same thing. One of the things you'll see here is there's not a lot on this standard run, so if you do CME dash H you're going to get that same little menu, not a lot there. However, if you look down here at the protocols, for each one of these protocols, you can do CME, uh, let's look at SMB, SMB, and then we do dash H. Then you get a different help page. This help page is dedicated to the SMB uh, module or protocol here. So you can see there's a lot in here. In pass it, uh, username, a password, the domain, lots and lots of information. One of the first things you want to be able to do here is, what I tend to do is try to scan the network for Windows host and find a little bit about them. Uh, Windows systems that is, you can do that with Nmap, you can do that with other tools as well. You can do that with this. Uh, one of the things is you can do CME, SMB, and then give it an IP. You can give it a range of IPs, you can give it a CIDR notation. You can give it all kind of different options there. I've created a file here called targets. If we look at targets, it's just a couple of different IPs on my uh, test network here that have Windows systems. So we're going to do that. CME, SMB, targets. Let that run. All right. Here, let me clear screen and do that again up here. All right. What you can see here, it comes out and tells you the Windows type, the version, the name of it, what domain is it part of. It also tells you if SMB signing is enabled or not, uh, what version of SMB it's using, things of that nature. Um, a little bit of information here. You can use this to find a few different things in there. So what I'm going to want to do then is I want to do the same thing, but I want to specify a username here. I'm going to type. Uh, my test user I have, my password for it is something simple that's guessable. I want to specify the domain here. As you're going to guess, is this isn't going to work on all of these systems, only the ones that are part of the HackNet. So let's go ahead and hit enter. It's going to do that same little check there. Then it's going to come down here and say OK. It found that it can log in to 100.108. That's fine. Uh, that worked there. It says pwned. What does pwned mean here? Pwned means that it is a local administrator on that box. If you don't see that PWN3D exclamation point and all yellow there, then it means that 
it is not a local administrator on that box, but as long as you have that green plus sign to the left, it means that you were able to log into that box. So, what we see here is it was able to log in to 119 and 108. For some reason, it wasn't able to log in to 115. It says status no login servers. There must be an error on that system at the moment. This is my test network after all. So, what we want to do now is we'll look at uh, some of these modules. When we were doing the recursive git clone, you saw a lot of stuff scroll by. That's a lot of these supplemental modules that CrackMap exec know how to, knows how to use. So let's clear screen CME SMB-L to list out these modules. And as you can see here, there's quite a few of these. Uh, ranging from executing a Bloodhound script to Empire to getting a bunch of other information, running Mimikatz, uh, grabbing the tokens off system, WDigest, lots of information off here that you can do. Even web delivery of a Metasploit payload, all kind of amazing stuff. The one that we're going to be looking at is Mimikatz here. Just quick and simple, dirty use of it here. So, for this, we're going to do CME, SMB, 192, 168, 100. I'm going to pick out one of those. Let's go with 119 here. So let's go ahead and specify my account. My password. And the domain. And then I'm going to specify the module of Mimikatz. I hit enter and let that finish. Ah. As you can see there, it does give you a nice helpful warning if you type it wrong. So I did. That is SMB, not AMB. Let's hit enter now and let this complete. All right, that didn't take that long. So what we can see here is it identified the system again. It is that Windows 7 box. Uh, it was able to log in. It is a local administrator. You come down here, it sees that HackNet 8 Compton. It gives you the hash. Uh, down here, Hacknet Compton gives you the password straight out of Mimikatz. That's great. Hacknet.local, same thing. Uh, so yeah, that's it. And it does add it to the database, so you can reuse those credentials in the future if you wish. But this is one quick use of this to not only identify which win uh, systems are on your network that are Windows and targetable by CrackMap Exec, how to identify which ones have local administrators on them that you can guess passwords for or you know the password for or which ones you can even log into and then once you find one how can you uh, start running some extra modules against it this is just touching the surface of this tool there's so so much more you can do with this but please go check it out try it and hopefully it works well for you it's a tool that I tend to use quite often on engagement so please have fun with it and go out and keep trying new tools and keep learning new things. Thank you very much.